Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with Brussels sprouts with warm bacon dressing. That's right, you don't like Brussels sprouts because they don't taste good, right? But that's because you haven't had them cooked right. You've probably had them horribly overcooked, which doesn't taste good at all. And with this recipe, that's not going to be a problem because not only are these not overcooked, they're not even cooked. So check it out. We're going to start by prepping about a pound of Brussels sprouts. And I know it's Brussels sprouts, but I say Brussels sprout to save time. Regardless, you're going to take your Brussels sprout, you're going to cut it in half, and then there's two ways you can do this. You can take your knife and make two angled cuts to cut that core out at the bottom, and then slice them up. And that works fine, but it gets a little tricky there at the end. So the new and improved method I like is more like this. Instead of cutting out that core, you just leave it there. And you slice your Brussels sprouts, and when you get down towards the core, you just sort of cut around it. A couple cuts that way couple cuts that way, and you're done. You just discard that, and it actually gives you something to hold on to while you're slicing. And because we're not cooking these, I want you to cut them nice and thin. But one way or another, I want you to slice up about a pound of Brussels sprouts, and that is prepped. So I'm going to toss that into a heat-proof bowl, and it's on to the warm bacon dressing. So in a saute pan over medium heat, I have about a tablespoon of vegetable oil, and I think like eight slices of bacon. It's probably four or five ounces that I just sliced up, and I'm gonna cook that over medium heat until pretty much crisp. So keep an eye on it, and you can even turn the heat down a little bit when it gets close so it doesn't overcook. We want it to be crispy, but not too, too dark brown. So that is looking very, very enticing right about there. At that point, we're gonna add some brown sugar and stir that in. And basically a warm bacon dressing is kind of a sweet and sour type affair. So the brown sugar's for the sweet, and for the sour, we're going to add some cider vinegar and some freshly squeezed lemon juice. And by the way, can you do me a favor? Can you stop using that little plastic lemon thing filled with the reconstituted juice? That's not as good. Just buy some lemons. All right, so some fresh lemon juice. And then we're going to turn the heat up to high. We want to bring that up to a boil. And while we're waiting for that to happen, we're going to season that up with some freshly ground black pepper. And of course, a little shot of cayenne. All right, so give that a stir. And as soon as that boils, which is only going to take like a minute, as soon as that boils, you're going to pull it off the heat and you're going to pour it over your sliced Brussels sprouts. And then quickly grab your tongs and give it a mix and keep mixing until it's thoroughly, thoroughly combined, which is going to take all of like 10 seconds. And that, if you want it to be, is done. That's right. I'm going to serve mine room temperature. So it's basically a salad. The Brussels sprouts are raw, but they're coated with that amazing warm bacon dressing. Taste for salt and pepper? Might need a little salt. All right, under-seasoned vegetables, one of the main reasons people don't like them. And I think that is just so delicious. It makes for such an interesting side dish. All right, that would be perfect, whether it's a Thanksgiving dinner, or special occasion, or just a side dish for a weeknight dinner. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to eat mine like this. But of course, if you wanted this to be a hot side dish, you could just give that like a one minute saute in a big skillet just until it starts to wilt. And you could serve that hot if you wanted. Both ways are really delicious, but I really like that subtle sweetness of the raw Brussels sprout. And of course, you know what helps? All that bacon dressing. Yes, that's right. We are not above adding bacon to vegetables to get you to eat them. Okay, whatever it takes. But regardless, whether you're eating this for the Brussels sprouts or just an excuse to get some more bacon in your diet, I really hope you give this a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info, as usual. And as always, enjoy! Enjoy!